to power electronics lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain silicon controlled switch and i'll be explaining this silicon controlled switch device with following outlines where first i'll explain structure of silicon controlled switch then we will see symbol of silicon controlled switch then i'll explain you how we can have equivalent circuit of scs then we will see characteristic and working of scs then i'll i'll sum up this session with advantages disadvantages and applications of silicon control switch so let us begin this session with first point that is construction of scs now when we talk about construction of scs silicon control switch then its construction that is basically almost identical to the construction which is there with scr but there is a minor difference which is there with construction of silicon control switch where this silicon control switch that is four layer device p n p n this terminal is anode this terminal is cathode this is cathode gate and this is anode gate so ultimately this is four layer four terminal device and there are three junctions so one can see here it is four layer three junction and four terminal device where if you see the basic difference in between structure of scr and scs then in scr you don't find anode gate while in case of scs this is what additional feature which is there with scs silicon control switch there is anode gate now when we talk about symbol of silicon control switch then its symbol that is this where this is anode terminal this is anode gate this is cathode terminal and this is cathode gate so this is what symbol which is there with scs so i think now basic structure and symbol that is clear to all construction of scs that is almost similar to scr only one additional feature that is been provided to scs that is anode gate which we connect it over here at n layer of anode and cathode gate that is there nearer to cathode terminal at p layer so this is how structure is there and in symbol four terminal that one can see it is assigned as per this symbol anode cathode anode gate cathode gate that is how it is there now let us have equivalent circuit now before i explain you equivalent circuit we can bisect this structure into two parts if you bisect it from here so let us say this is one part and this is second part right sorry this is one part and this is second part so if i bisect it like this you will be finding this is one transistor p n p transistor and this is n p n transistor so let us try to draw it so it will be more clear see here this is p n p transistor so i'm just drawing it here so it will be more clear to understand this is p n p transistor as it is over here and this is n p n transistor so let me draw here one can see these are the symbols which is there with this p n p transistor and this is n p n transistor now this p type material that is connected to anode so we can say this is anode terminal and one can see to this n type material there is anode gate 
so this base that is what connected to anode gate so we can say this is anode gate and if you see this npn transistor so base of this npn transistor that is connected to cathode gate so this is npn transistor base of that is connected to cathode gate and this is connect this emitter that is connected to cathode so this is connected to cathode so one can see see this this is how pnp and npn transistor is there and connection that i have shown so which is what making this equivalent circuit that is what equivalent circuit of scs so that is how equivalent circuit of scs silicon control switch is there so this is how one can easily remember how to draw this circuit now let us move on to further part of scs so it will gives you exact idea about how scs functions and what will be the characteristic of scs so let us start with first point that is characteristic of scs now see characteristic of scs that is almost similar to scr when anode is positive with respect to cathode scs will come in forward bias and if you increase cathode gate current then it will decrease forward conduction voltage of scs so as we have seen characteristic of scr you will be finding it is like this that is how characteristic that we have seen it in forward bias in reverse bias it will be in off state after having reverse breakover voltage this is reverse breakover voltage so after that there will be high amount of current flow that will happen here we can say this is holding current and this is latching current and this is forward breakover voltage so this is how characteristic is there when anode is positive with respect to cathode this first quadrant characteristic that is there with scs and when anode is negative with respect to cathode this third quadrant characteristic that is there with scs and characteristic is almost identical to scr characteristic now as i have told you as if you increase cathode gate current forward conduction voltage that will decrease so to have early triggering of scr if i say this characteristic that is happening at ig1 now if i increase ig in that case you will be finding characteristic will have lower forward breakover voltage that one can see now forward breakover voltage decreases and i am saying like see if i say this is ig2 then ig2 is greater than ig1 so if you increase current forward breakover voltage will decrease so ultimately to have early triggering we can increase cathode gate current so that is what similar to the characteristic which is there with scr i have already explained characteristic of scr you can see my video where you will be finding how it is there so this is what about characteristic of scs now let us move on to further what that is working of scs now see in working of scs negative gate pulse to anode gate which will turn on scs now as i have told you see in scr in scr this is the facility which is not available this is new facility which is there with scs anode gate supply that we can give it to scs which is not available to scr in scr cathode gate is there but in scs anode gate as well as cathode gate is there now let us see working 
in SCS, if you give negative gate pulse to anode gate, it will turn on SCS. If you give positive gate pulse to anode gate, it will turn off SCS. But generally, we don't use anode gate to turn off. Generally, we use anode gate to turn off SCS, not to turn on SCS. So we don't give negative gate pulse to anode gate. So all we can do is to turn on SCS, we can give positive gate pulse to cathode gate and we can give positive gate pulse to anode gate for turning on uh, turning off of SCS. So practically what we do is we give positive gate pulse to cathode gate for early triggering of SCS and to turn off SCS we give anode gate positive pulse so that we can turn it off. So this is how working is there. So in working first of all anode should be positive with respect to cathode then only SCR will SCS will be in forward bias and as if SCS is in forward bias we can turn on by cathode gate pulse positive cathode gate pulse and to turn off SCS we can give positive gate pulse to anode gate. So this is how we can turn on and turn off SCS. So this is new feature which is there with SCS otherwise rest of the things are almost identical to SCR. So how many advantages that is there with SCS? Turn off time typically within the range of 1 to 10 microsecond that is better than SCR. We have increased control means we can turn on as well as turn off SCS that is not available with SCR. For SCR we need commutation circuit to turn it off while in SCS by gate pulse we can turn off SCS. And we have increased sensitivity with SCS compared to SCR. So these are the advantages which is there with SCS. Now disadvantages. So disadvantages are it works at low power you will be finding its power that is there in the range of 100 to 500 milli voltage millivolt sorry so this is what the power which is available with SCS and if you see the current rating so that is even very low that is there in the range of 100 to 300 milli ampere so Ultimately disadvantage of SCS is like you cannot work with high power and high current rating. Power rating and current rating as well as voltage rating that you will be finding that is quite low lower than the rating which is there with silicon controlled rectifier SCR. So this is disadvantage which is there with SCS. How many applications are available in the market with SCS? One can go for power oscillator, voltage sensors, pulse generator and in computer circuits like counters and resistors. So these are the applications which is there with silicon controlled switch SCS. I have made this session based on the request done by one student. I hope that now this will be beneficial to some students those who have been studying this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep giving your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on that in future I will make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.